Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about, well, dealing with uh, the apocalypse, all right? Dealing with what's uh, going on right now um, all around the world. And um, you already know how we do here. I'm not here picking sides or choosing, you know what I mean? Like to me, it's all one big mess that they're creating in order to control. You know what I mean? Control you, control the narrative, control the world, you know? Controlling the narrative, Henceforth, you know, that's how they control you through knowledge through fear through many things like that So again, it doesn't really matter to me Where you fall on the political spectrum what team you're rooting for or anything like that um, the reality is that As we go, you know, what I mean forward um, Through all this, you know what I mean um, For some people out there, it's getting more and more difficult and for others. It's getting easier and easier You know like in a sense you know, for me, it's getting easier because, you know, I'm already past the point of acceptance. I'm already past a few other points of uh, what I got to deal with with this uh, whole situation. Um, but for other people, you know, they're it's just, you know, either it's sinking in now or if it's not, you know, um, or if it's not that, you know, they're finally, um, you know, at a point where... You know, they have no other choice, you know, but what to deal with it. And it's becoming very real. You know, for other people, you know, they're, they're just, you know, I got friends, you know, they're like, I, I see like on Facebook and I see on other things and they just, you know, from one moment to the other, you know, they were focused on all of these things, you know, you know, kind of like following the, the, the path, you know what I mean? The one that I'm always telling you guys to do, which is what we're gonna talk about in a second. And then before I know, you know, I'm looking at them, I'm like, bro, what the, you know, why are you talking about politics? Why are you talking about this? You never talk about politics, you know what I mean? Like whatever, when I used to talk about it, you, you, you didn't even care. So why now? Um, or other people, you know, other people out there that are all of a sudden, you know, been into politics, you know, been into, you know, many things like that. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, you're starting to see them, you know, become uber, you know, um, <clears throat> like, uh, I don't want to say patriotic because that's not even the right word here <laughs> in a weird way. But uber, uber, um, you know, um, you know, on the bandwagon, on the team bandwagon, you get what I'm saying? On the whole, um, you know what I mean? Root for this team bandwagon, you know what I mean? Just like, uh, you know, again, look, I'll talk about the Dolphins for a second, you know what I mean? I'm a big Dolphins fan, and, uh, you know, we usually suck, and even as we're winning, um, you know, our fans are more like, man, you better be winning on a very consistent basis, and you better be showing us, you know what I mean? Otherwise, we're, we're you know, we're, we're coming off this bandwagon. We don't want to be on this bandwagon, you know what I mean? You know, we're not, you know, hardcore fans per se. So it's kind of like the same thing, even with what's going on now. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are not hardcore fans, but all of a sudden, overnight, they, they become hardcore fans. You know, um, you know whether it's because their team won or lost, all right? And um, no team has won or lost. In fact, you know, what they're doing is um, literally, you know, um, getting everybody to keep fighting against each other instead of, uh, Focusing on what they really need to focus on all right. They're just there fighting against each other. All right constantly And that's what everybody's doing and everybody's doubling down on that it is not Getting better by any stretch of the imagination so with that being said You know there are things that you can do during these times these weird times these insane times these times um, that we're dealing with. In fact, how I was talking about earlier, the apocalypse, you know, I wasn't over exaggerating there. I really do think that this is kind of like the zombie apocalypse, you know, we're dealing with it. You know, there's zombies everywhere. Again, it doesn't matter what your stance on any of this is, you know what I mean? <clears throat> At all. You're a zombie, you know what I mean? If you're pro wearing a mask or anti wearing a mask, if you're pro one political party or anti one political party or, you know what I mean, or whatever it is. You know, right now we're dealing with a lot of people dealing with a lot of fanaticism, dealing with a lot of, um, you know, you know, it's just getting uh, the, it's getting to a fever pitch, literally. All right, and so <clears throat> you know, there are things that you can do in order to make 
you know, your journey through all this, you know, a lot better in order for you to be able to not just survive, but to thrive during these times. And, um, you know, that's something that we're going to be talking about um, as soon as I get back. Because I, I got here, I got to pay a bill and then I got to go to the little store over there and pick something up. And then uh, once I do that, I got to go to the actual grocery store okay so um on the way to the other grocery store so it's a different walk all right so you guys can see a little bit of a different um what are, we're going to be talking more about what you can actually do you know to actually survive um and, and again for a lot of you guys you guys can thrive during these times like i've been thriving and uh you guys can too and by thriving you know it, it can mean you know financially or it can mean you know basically just uh the fact that you're free okay um, or the fact that, you know what I mean? Again, you're free from a lot of things, um, whether it's a, you know, financial situation or free from a, um, a political tyranny or whatever it is, okay? Um, there are ways that you can actually make your life and uh, situation a lot better, all right? So we're gonna be talking about that in a second. Let me take care of uh, a few errands and then uh, we'll get back to it in a second. All right, guys, so we're back and we're gonna be talking now on this end about the solutions. Solution number one, don't participate. And if you do gotta participate, do it on your own terms. Now don't be doing something stupid, you know, like uh, forcing your way into a building, you know, let's say like a Walmart or any other kind of like a corporate building type thing like that, you know, co corporate store, um, where they speak, uh, what is it, explicitly, what is it, specifically say where your fuck, you know, where this thing, the mark of the beast or you can't come in you know don't be going into a you know someone's private home okay that's their private home and um acting a fool you know what i mean like that because you're only you're gonna get in trouble and only you're gonna suffer so you know what do i do you know what i mean well i put it on but i put it on like as you guys already saw you know with uh, my nose exposed so i can at the very least breathe i already get the point that they're just trying to muzzle me and um and i already understand what that means but again, you know what I mean? Like to me, you know, I, I know how to pick my battles. You know what I mean? I know how to, you know, um, deal with situations like this. You know what I mean? And this, that's what you got to learn how to do. You know, um, you basically, you, you basically got to learn, you know, how to roll with the punches. So, you know, a lot of you guys are lucky that you guys live in areas still that, you know, most people are not wearing that thing outside because they're not believing the propaganda. Unfortunately for me at the moment where I live, you know, almost everybody is still wearing that mask, you know what I mean? Because outside and, and everything they do, even in the shower and in the bathroom. And not because they have to, because they don't, but it's because they want to, which is even worse. You know, but that's, you know, again, that's them. That's what they want to do, you know what I mean? They want to be zombies, so they're more than happy, you know. You know, what is it? Like, um, there's, um, this is a free country after all, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, they want to do that and they can do that. And even if it's not a free country, who cares? Let them do whatever they want to do. You know, that's the way I, you know, live. You know, it's like, as long as nobody tells me what to do, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. So, you know, how to deal with all this, you know what I mean? Like the main aspect, you know, the, the, the most difficult part is uh, the mental aspect to all this, you know what I mean? Like how, how are you going to deal with this? You know mentally because you know that is the most difficult part even for me you know um, i'm already you know over the fact because you know I, again i've i've come to terms with it i've come to deal with you know the situation that you know i know that we're in which is this is a zombie apocalypse right, hold on. i got a rock in my shoe when i get these rocks out okay but anywho you gotta you know deal with your situation accordingly so if you see that everyone around you is a zombie well <clears throat> you know you're living amongst the zombies so you know one thing that i, I keep t that i told everyone to do i made a video on this many many months ago um which is watch that movie Shaun of the dead if you watch the movie Shaun of the dead i mean you'll really get to understand the situation that we're dealing with right now and how to deal with it and you know like how to you know more easily you know deal with it so and the, I mean, a, a spoiler alert, you know what I mean? The movie Shaun of the Dead is about a zombie apocalypse and it's a comedy. And uh, basically, I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but you know, basically how the movie works out is that they, you know, comically come to a resolution at the end of the movie. And um, I don't, again, I don't want to ruin it, but you know, once you see the end of that movie, you realize, oh, wait a minute, that could be the end of 
this movie, you know, meaning that once all this is said and done, that we're gonna be living in a, in a, in a world very similar to the end of Shaun of the Dead. I'm not gonna play any other movie here because, you know, again, I'm always dealing with copyright stuff. I'm always dealing with all kinds of things on this channel. So I'm just trying to avoid any kind of uh, unnecessary uh, trouble there. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, it's all about the fact that, you know, you see everyone that's, you know, around you that is willing to participate. Um, and all you gotta do is not participate. Now, it's a lot easier said than done. I, I, I get that, I understand that. So. How can you not participate? How, how can it be easy for you to not participate? Well, very no, step number one, don't watch any fake news. Don't watch any mainstream media. Don't watch any anything, you know, like that. Don't watch the, the boob tube propaganda. Remember, pro, they call it programming for a reason. Um, I think back in 2012 in the US, they made it legal for them to show you propaganda. So I don't want to get into all that, but at the end of the day, don't listen to any of that, you know what I mean? Tune all that out, that's number one. Number one of the most important steps is that, you know what I mean? You gotta like literally tune all that out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, see, look, someone that agreed with me there. <laughs> off, on the, off on the side there. But anyways, you gotta tune all that out. You know what I mean? That's like, I mean, if you don't do that, I mean, you're not gonna be able to get through steps two, three, four, five, whatever, everything else. So step one. <laughs> Step one, you know, turn off the, the, the propaganda machine. Okay, that's number one. Step numero dos. Step numero dos. Look both ways before you cross the street. Always. Always. <laughs> so anyways, all right. So, step number two. Do you. Do you. Okay, what do I mean by that? What I'm always talking about in all my Monday motivation, see? I told you guys, you know what I mean? I was gonna, you know, get always right back to that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm not doing those Monday motivations anymore, but this video might as well be something very similar to that. But anyways, do you. Start focusing on you. Start focusing on what you wanna do, on what you um, always wanted to do. Start doing these things. Start focusing on yourself. Start focusing on the things that actually matter. And, um, and just push forward on that. The more, obsessed obsessed is a good word in this sense but the more the more obsessed you are hey look he's protecting his house i'm protecting my house <laughs> so the more you do the more you do in order to um focus on you focus on yourself focus on your your love your passion what you what you need to be focusing on you know what i mean all these other things you know uh when you finally start doing that um, all of a sudden, you're gonna be so obsessed, so focused, so driven. All your time is gonna be taken up by literally, you know, doing everything you need to do and you want to do. You know what I mean? So you don't have enough time at all, period. By the way, see, look, that guy out there playing his saxophone is doing his own thing. God bless. But anyways, I'm gonna make sure we're going the right way here. All right, guys, so one thing I forgot to mention, so I'm gonna add this in the middle of the video, all right? Um, but one thing I actually forgot to mention real quick about this whole apocalypse situation is that, again, you see, you, you gotta participate, but you really don't have to participate. I was in the store, and there was people inside the store that were basically taking um, a picture of me with, um, you know, the mask I, the way I was wearing it, trying to shame me, but what I did is I just went like, you know, like that, and then they got pissed off because they couldn't get that that shot of me candidly, you know, walking around. They caught me, you know, again, acting a fool, and then they're like, then they can't shame me. You can't, you know, they can't shame a fool, right? You can't shame me if I'm already... So that was that, that was number one. Another thing, you know, when I'm in the store, I'm about to go in the store, I don't really have to worry about it in this store and other stores, but some stores, and when you're going in and they're going through all that protocol and they shoot you with that gun in the head, one thing I do is like, when I get, when I get shot in the head, I go, Ugh! you know, and I get shot, you know what I mean? Like if they actually did shoot me in the head, you know what I mean? Like I play act. You know, I play, you know what I mean? It's like, whatever, you know what I mean? If we're gonna play this game, we're gonna play the game. You know what I mean? I'm gonna act a fool, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, act, you guys are acting like fools, we're gonna, I'm gonna act a fool too. Only I'm gonna laugh, it's gonna be my joke, it's gonna be on my terms, I'm gonna, and that's it. And look, most of the time they end up chuckling and laughing, but when they don't, again, that's not my problem either. 
but anyways i just wanted to add that last little piece in there um and that's it okay so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show just wanted to add my two more cents to to the rest of the pile here i think yeah i think we gotta still go this way let's keep going this way look at this guy's car this guy's car is fucking awesome and the car looks amazing but anyways do you guys all right and that's the thing you know i don't know if i'm going the right way i think i'm going the right way but let me get back into the sun get that vitamin d but yeah guys you know what you need to do is that you got to do your own thing like this guy's doing his own thing he's not focused on what's going on around him He's not focused on, you know, that whole world and universe or anything like that. He's focused on taking care of him, taking care of himself. You know, um, these people are taking care of their family right now, doing their thing. And, and that's the thing, you know what I mean? When you put it from a different perspective where you need to take care of you um, or else, you know what I mean? It's take care of yourself or you're not going to survive. Then that's when you start, you know, really paying attention to what you need to pay attention to, which is you and stop paying attention to all the propaganda you know stop you know stop listening to you know what i mean when, when you know you stop focusing on all this other extracurricular activity that is just getting you to focus to you know on on the bullshit and not the one you need to focus on which again is you um if you're focused on that guy not wearing a mask or that guy wearing a mask or you're focused on you know why is this person voting this way why is that person doing this why is my government doing that? You know what I mean? Like, again, I don't concern myself with any of that. Now, I do because I talk about it on a regular basis, but how do I concern myself with it? Well, I just know enough, okay, to keep myself in the know so that, you know, um, I don't get ca caught with my pants down. But it's more like, oh, okay, so they're going to start doing this, this, and that. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I should move and move over here. That's it. Instead of like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I this? What am I that? No, no. It's not, it's not really that complicated. You know what I mean? And it's as simple as that. You know, if you are focused on you, on your passion, on, you know, you know, on... Uh, you know whatever that is you know what i mean it could be anything you know it could be playing guitar playing the saxophone it could be um doing vlogs like this it could be you know working on your car it could be a gazillion things if you're focused on all any of those things focused on yourself focus on whatever you're not gonna have enough time to focus on the other uh, zombie apocalypse you're just not gonna have time you're gonna be so preoccupied and busy with what you're doing then not, not only are you not gonna have time but you're not going to want to give it any time. You're going to be so busy and preoccupied with everything that you're not going to want to give it any time at all. Man, there's a noisy car next to me. Anyway, so, uh, but yeah, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's a simple, I mean, that's it. You know what I mean? It's not even, a, uh, you know, so that's the secret. You know what I mean? That's kind of like the secret to dealing with all this shit right now. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, unfortunately, it's just not participating. So right now, as you guys can see, or probably seen, there's a, look at this, Mexican, um, look, so I'm walking, right? And this is just uh, the Mexican uh, architecture. <laughs> Be careful, you fucking, you know, I wonder how many people have eaten it here. And, you know, just the, the road, and, and there's like a hole. And there's another one there. Same property, I guess. But anyways, the point is, <laughs> the point is, you gotta watch where you're going and so if you are focused on you if you're focused on um the things that you need to be focused on okay whatever the fuck that is i don't know it's your life um then all of a sudden you can you're watching where you're going and you're not gonna be caught by surprise you know again know enough it's a new gas station they're building here interesting anyways just know again you gotta just keep yourself in the know and uh know enough so that again, like I said, you're not really caught with your pants down, but but the other way around, where you get to take full advantage of um, the situation, you know, whatever the, the, whatever they throw at you, whatever's going, you know, whatever they're gonna throw at you, you're already prepared for. So, if you already know that we're in the middle of the zombie apocalypse and everyone is a zombie, whether they're wearing their mask or not, but as long as they're participating um, in this uh, game, okay. And you know exactly what I mean by that. As long as they're participating, um, 
you know, that's already enough, you know what I mean? Where, you know, they're a part of the game, you know what I mean? Like, where they're preoccupied with all that and they're zombies, you know? Anyone that's participating is a zombie. Anyone that's not focused on what they need to be focused on is a zombie. And that's it, you know what I mean? Like, um, because even as I am making a video and talking about this, you know, notice it is, and I'm not like talking about, you know, one thing or the other, obsessing about one thing or the other. You guys already know how I feel. I'm not gonna wear that fucking mask unless I absolutely fucking necessarily have to. Now, I live in a place where I only gotta wear it inside of a, a fucking uh, Walmart or whatever, you know what I mean? Or the grocery store for, I don't know, a, a, an hour tops? And I'm still, you know, I get to breathe, you know, through my nose because I expose that, no problem, so whatever, you know what I mean? Any other establishment, you know what I mean? Basically, are establishments that I probably don't want to go in or be in, so I really don't care. Um, I get to live free and uh, harassment free out here and um, just because everyone around me chooses to play this game doesn't mean that I have to play the game and that's it and so you know to me it's like I'm, I just look at everything around me in a very comical sense I'm always looking around me and seeing everybody wearing their mask and participating some people are looking at me mad because I'm not wearing my mask and other people are like cheering me on because I'm not wearing my mask. But at the end of the day, I really don't care, you know, more than anything else, because I just want to be me and, and live me and do me. And that's it, you know what I mean? And so, you know, that's why I choose to live in a, also in a place where I can do that without any real repercussions of any kind. What, what, what kind of, what? That some people are not gonna like me? Well, some people don't like me already. I really don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? They can go fuck themselves, you know? So, but the point is, is that when you are doing you, when you're focused on you, when you're focused on your heart, when you're focused on your family, your life, the real things that matter in life, whatever that is to you, you ain't got time for any of this shit. You just don't got time. Basically, the people participating in the zombie apocalypse, they got too much time in their fucking hands. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Anyone participating in this fucking bullshit just has way too much fucking time on their fucking hands. I don't know, again, seriously. Because that's basically what it is, you know. Um, because what uh, to me again, I, 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 it bothers me that I see so many people around me wearing a mask. But it doesn't bother me to the point where I can't function or live or do my thing. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? That's their prerogative. I do. Look, how about this? I look at it like Drake. If you guys don't know who Drake is, he's an international rap star. No, but anyways, <laughs> but like Drake says, you know what I mean? Basically, you know. The biggest shout out goes out, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I'm, I'm uh, how do I say this? I'm the happiest for the people out there that choose to do nothing because that's less competition that I have to deal with. So everyone out there that is choosing to be a zombie, uh, a zombie, whether it's uh, wear the mask, not wear the mask, take the vaccine, don't take the vaccine, um, vote for this guy, don't vote for that guy, you know, whatever. I mean, they're, they're, they're lost and they're gonna continue to spiral out of control. And that means that that's less humans I got to fucking compete with for everything, you know, whether it's resources, you know, uh, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, and again, they're in their own world focused on their own shit, which is obsessing over this stupid shit that doesn't matter to anything or anyone while I'm over here obsessing on, on you know, a lot of awesome things. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, not, try not to get hit over a bike or, you know, but seriously, while I'm out here obsessing over me, and obsessing over, you know, making videos for you guys and obsessing over living the best life I can live and obsessing over, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, the again, literally the life that I live, you know what I mean? Obsessing over, oh, the Christmas party I'm gonna throw, obsessing over the videos that I wanna fucking drop, obsessing over making the best thumbnails so I can get more people to click and watch these things, you know, obsessing over things that matter to me. They might not matter to you, but they matter to me. And that's all that fucking matters, right? At the end of the day, that's all that really matters, right? You gotta do things that matter to you. At the end of the day, I doing by me, by me doing things that matter to me, look at how many people get to benefit from this all the time. You know, uh, just check out my channels and you'll see. And it's still growing. And it makes me want to do it more and more and more. So you guys, you gotta find your thing. Instead of focusing on the zombie apocalypse, just know that we're dealing with it. Watch the movie, Shaun of the Dead, to help you um, deal with it. No matter, again, no matter how you feel about the situation, and um, you'll be fine, you know, because you'll be able to take full advantage of all this and come out a wiener. I mean, a winner. No, but seriously, in all seriousness, you guys can do this, all right? 
I believe in you. So, let me see, can I cross? Okay, I can't cross, all right. So, with that being said, guys, I've already made it here to the other grocery store. I gotta buy some things. Um, so it's, uh, Christmas is around the corner, and I gotta, actually, this, I'm, not, I'm not picking anything Christmas related up. It's actually for, for uh, the cooking live show. Again, focusing on me. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, th this 2020 got so crazy that I literally started a live streaming cooking show. You know what I mean? Uh, by the way, so you guys should check it out. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, by the, all the links are down below, but every Tuesday and Thursday, you can literally check me out live while I cook dinner at home. It's going to be awesome. I mean, uh, I've been doing it for a few months. It's going great. Um, check out the travel channel in case you guys are interested in moving to Mexico or abroad. Check out this channel for more other kind of cool stuff. Check out the podcast every Tuesday and Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. And um, that's it, guys. Other than that, stay awesome. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. Okay? And share the video. Okay? If you, if you find this information um, good and share worthy. Thanks again, and uh, you know what? I'll see you guys manana. I gotta get on the bus. I'm out here. Actually, no, I gotta go shopping. Bye. <laughs>